I love you. Okay. Hey guys, it's Targo Stock One FPV. We got a uh, RMA here. Gentleman sent his drone in, wanted me to check it out, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I don't really know what's wrong with it. I'm not sure, but I think it's related to the Vista, uh, but I don't know. He just said to check it out. Said he sent me some extra parts as well. Hmm, that's the extra body of a Vista. Uh, no guts on there, so I'm not really sure what's going on. But let's just see. Let's see what's up. We don't know. I'm kind of aiming in the dark here. Uh, I went back and looked at the ticket. And I still can't figure out what was going on. So maybe I can find out this way. All right. So let's see. Oh, and of course, my phone is ringing. What is this? I have no idea. I'm sure I'm going to have to get that call in just a minute, though. So hang tight just in case. I may have to pause this video. So bear with me. Actually, before I even open this up, let's see what he's experiencing. Not really sure. Let me get my goggles. See if we can figure that out. Because I don't see anything. Looks like it's a problem. Now we're on the hunt for the cable. Bear with me a second. You know, surprisingly, the Vista is not getting hot at all. So maybe that's the issue. I don't know yet. Maybe this is an issue with the Vista. But what I want to do is I'd like to find a cable to power up. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. if we can get any video. Because I'm assuming that's what's going on, but I don't know yet. We see the Vista. That's not bad. Oh, great, the bind buttons, the bind button is broken. Okay, well that is gonna be probably the reason we're not seeing anything happen. So, what we have is a broken bind button, and my guess is that it's jammed in but we're gonna see real quickly. So let me just open this up. You see right here, bind button is broken. So, and it is not a major issue to have the bind button broken because you really don't bind this thing too many times and binding it once is pretty simple. I mean, binding it is pretty simple. It's not like you gotta push the button every single time um, because once you're bound, you're done, right? Unless you got a bunch of people flying goggles. Um, so let's just see what we've got. All right, so here's the bind button. I mean, here's the uh, Vista here. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and remove. Oh, let's see, we'll do it from the bottom here. Oh no, those are using Phillips screwdriver. So let me, let's do this. Okay, there's one. My hope is that once we remove that button entirely, uh, it should start, should be okay. There's two.
there's three. And then let's just do the fourth one. Okay, now the one thing we've got to be careful of is the way this antenna sits in here, it's so tight the way it's put in that I've got to make sure I don't mess this up or break the UFL. So let me take this screw out, put that there. Oh, the camera, the cable's not even attached. Uh, we'll have to work on that because the antenna is not even attached properly, so I'm sure he's not getting the best. Oh, and his power cable is cut. Now, if that happened just now, that's a problem also because um, it shouldn't have happened. But if it did, now I'm curious about something because I don't think this thing would power on, which means it must have been kinked pretty hard to get to that point. Let me remove my goggles and let me just... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we definitely have a soldering issue here that we're going to resolve. Um, and I can see what he's done to try to solder it. I just wouldn't do it that way. And I'll explain to you in just a second. Um, but it still doesn't change the fact that the bind cable or the bind button is broken. So here's what we're going to do. I want this customer to see the work being done. I know he's interested and he's definitely attempted to do it himself, which I give credit to. And I want to show him exactly how close he was. Assuming that this is correct. Um, so let me take off the power cable. Let me get our microscope out. And let's share our computer screen. So give me a second. That way we can look at the microscope. Mm, it'll be coming up here in a minute, so just hang tight. Okay, it should be right there. And then I'll open the camera app. And there we go. All right, so let me show you a few things on this. Um, okay, here we go. First thing I want to show you is not the blurriness, but okay. When you're soldering on the back of a Vista, right? I understand the, the idea of trying to go into the grooves right here, okay? But there's not enough surface area to have a good um, a connection uh, if these wires are going to be kinked, okay? Because what you're going to have happen, just like what happened to the positive wire, which all I did was try to unscrew the Vista, but look at this ground wire, for example, okay? So if I flex this one, well, there you go. If I flex these like this, right? Boom, okay? And this is not what we wanna see because it just means that eventually, depending on how this is sitting and what's going on, uh, you're really at the mercy of, uh, of these wires. And what you wanna do is you want to get to the pads right here. Okay, you get a ton of surface area on these pads, right? So we're talking about, oh, I don't know, probably two mil, maybe, let me see. So if we measure surface area here, uh, are you, yeah, it's, it's a safe, it's, a, it's probably a safe, it's a safe estimate to say two mil, and you would be pushing it to say three, but I think you could easily, oh, I see you guys can't see what I'm doing, so I'm just taking the ruler and going to it. Right, so I'm just looking like this. Uh, you could probably argue three, maybe, depending on where you get into this. Um, but in either case, you definitely are not getting enough surface area of these tiny wires, and the wires are so small, all right, that, um, you know, like we just showed, if you, if you wiggle them, because these are thin, uh, high gauge wire, try to clean this up here. This is, not how I want to see this, but let's see if we can clean it up. Just a little bit at least. I mean, it's not, this will not make or break if it's going to work. I just like to try to be a little thorough with this. All right. So, all right. So we definitely have that to work on. So, uh, and, and we will work on that in just a little bit, but right, I'm going to turn my soldering iron off first because really the first thing we need to do, or actually, you know what, I'll leave it on, but I'm just going to turn the temperature all the way down to like 200. Okay. What we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and remove the casing. Now, I'm going to go back to this view for now because it's not going to help you to see under the microscope because we don't have enough room to show everything. So let me just go back to this and let's go ahead and let's take off the top here. Okay, there we go. 
And now we know that there's a, it's what the rivet held right here, but once we get that off, we can freely just move this wherever we want, okay? So bind button here is broken, okay? And uh, we're not gonna worry about soldering other bind button on. Like I said, it's not necessary to do that. Uh, so let me see, I'm gonna try a couple things just to see what I can get away with on this, but I know the end result will be to remove it. And I'm gonna just, when I get, a, when I get an option where I know I have to do something, but hey, maybe I can experiment here and see what other option may be now. Always, always need to try new ideas. So what I'm gonna try to do is lift this pin up here. I'm gonna see if I can, and I don't think it's gonna work, so, oh well. Well, let me try. You always, always want to experiment a little bit if you can. Okay, so we're going to remove, see how we can, we can hear it clicking this way, okay? But the rest of the component is not working. And that means this is gonna pop off here in a second anyway, there it goes. So that's not gonna help you and nothing else clicks, okay? So what I like to do is I'll usually just remove this entire piece here. And that's what I'm gonna to try to do here, calmly and carefully. I'm going to take this, this wires and we're going to go ahead since these are already separated uh, we're going to go ahead and just begin the soldering process so I'm going to tin these wires according to you know, like proper length make sure they're tinned up properly and tin the board up and then we can give this a test run and see if we're going to be able to get it to fire up all right two Okay. okay, hold the wires and spin the silicone sheath so you get a nice tight wound um, strand. Okay. so weird because I don't remember ever having these colors but hmm. we'll see okay let's see where we're at one two three four five six Okay, I have no idea because these colors don't look familiar to me, but we'll see. I mean, some of them do, just not all of them. All right, I'm just gonna lay these over, turn up my soldering iron, so bear with me a second. It's gotta get to the right temperature. Let's put this back and let's, since we're gonna go ahead and do this, we might as well go ahead and prepare to tin this as well. See right here, we're gonna get this all tinned up nicely. So, it's almost to the right temp. OK, 
Okay. Dude, I put this Fox Sports app on my phone, and now, and I've got to figure out how to turn that off, because I keep thinking I close the app down, and out of nowhere I start getting these sports updates. It kind of freaks me out. Anyways, so if we look on the board here, we can see all that it's telling us. So we have voltage, ground, uh, RX, TX, and so forth. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get this going. And since I have the board off, I have so much room to work here. It's, it's really easy. There's voltage. crossover like that but I'm going to do it here so usually I'll start with one and come all the way back up it should be our S bus here what's weird to me is that we have a blue wire that would be the actual ground which I'm as a matter of fact I'm going to hope well we'll see let me just go in here okay keep it in the order that it's in because these colors do not match up with what I'm used to but we're gonna see very quickly all right so here we go now this just like this, but I gotta get this capacitor out of the way. Before I go and make anything permanent, We have a red light. And that means I'm going to go ahead and plug in my coggles. We need to see that red light turn green at some point, hopefully. There it is. And now we're going to see 
if we, there you go, we can trigger the binding process, okay? So we don't need the button to trigger the binding process. We can just touch those two pieces there. I'm gonna get ready to put my goggles, test these out. Unit's getting warmer, I guess. And there we go. We are now perfect. We have everything like we're supposed to. We now have our telemetry showing, we have our camera showing, we have everything working like it's supposed to. And that appears to be honestly the only issue that this had. Um, so it is warming up now, so it's working perfect. Um, I will basically put it back together now. I'm gonna turn everything off. There's no antenna on here right now. So. So really the only issue here was, well, we had a couple things. One, the wiring was kind of iffy and we needed to fix that, right? So if I were to show you now what the new, what it looks like now, this will give you a better idea. Let me just kind of fit this under here so that we can at least demonstrate to you the best. Like this is the way I would definitely recommend wiring these. So let me show you this and let's go this route here, okay? So you can see now, you see how much surface area we have with these wires? I mean, they're solid. They're not going anywhere and there's definitely at least two mil between two to three millimeter of wire that is now uh put under there so we're set um so i'm going to get out of that now and come back here and let's put this away we can put that away now okay uh, okay now i did not wind this wire up and i'm not so sure that i'm really going to but if i was going to uh, okay tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it like this all right now I am going to also put some silicone down here to protect this wiring and um, and then I'll also bind my radio to this because obviously it looks like let me see uh, yeah I guess he's using a DJI radio as well I don't see any other receiver on here um, so let me clamp that back on okay and then this will go like this here. Uh, just let me lift this capacitor up. Let's put this back down, but let's put it down here. Come here. Just like that. Perfect. Camera wire can sit here. Capacitor can sit there. Wiring will sit here. Okay. And then we've got to get this wire for the antenna, which has now gone under the unit. We need to pull that back out and bring it up. This is probably the one thing that bothers me about this design right here is that there's a pretty hard kink in this wire. And I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, given that the UFL is the most common thing to break on these units, putting hard kink on a ufl connector it's just not a good idea but i'm going to see if we can heat this wire up a little bit and get it to just kind of hold its its, its uh, form so i'm going to try this but it's pressing right against that power cable which is most likely why the power cable cable would sever but let's see if we can if we can get this to sit on here be a hard task but let's see okay so this has to want to sit like this and that's not a very doesn't look like it wants to cooperate that way. Let me see if there's another way to do this. I mean, it doesn't seem like a very smart idea, but I think if I press it up, I think that might work. So if we were to take this cable and press this up here, okay, that might stay. And what I think is that 
may not be a bad idea to silicone this as well. Oop, there's my son. Hold on, I'll get it. What's up? What's up? How was your first day of riding the bus? Awesome, awesome. All right, I'm finishing this video. I'll cut it short and I'll come in. I want to hear all about your day. Yes, sir. Love you, bud. Love you. So you had a good day. Yeah, I'm coming in. Okay. Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna come back and finish the rest of this. I'm gonna go check out my son. See how he's uh see how his day went. He rode his bus. This is the first time. He's in sixth grade. He finally rode the bus for the first time. So I wanna go hear all about it and see how his day went. Uh, second day of school, always exciting. Um, anyways, I'm gonna close this up here so you're not gonna miss much, but uh, this will pretty much probably conclude the video anyway. So uh, if there is any more that I do to this, I'll create a new video on it, but I think I'm just going to stop it here, put the silicone, hold everything in place nicely, and I think we should be good to go. So the customer, I hope you're happy. Uh, we didn't need a new Vista unit after all. All you need to do is uh, fix this up just a little bit. Um, all right then. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you learned something today with this. I hope this helped you out. Anybody who needs something uh, done like this, you can always hit me up. I love doing this stuff. I'm really focusing more on repairs um, than I am on the retail side of it because the retail side is just... It's like a no-brainer, and I don't really feel like doing that much anymore. I like to do the repairs and the design. So if you need stuff repaired, you need it built, you need it designed, I'd be more than happy to do it. Let me know. Hit me up, and always follow us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I always appreciate it. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. I'm going to go talk to my kid now, and I will talk to you all soon. Peace. <laughs>